so the second modifying factor for the endurance limit is a uh, size factor to start with if it is a uh, so as, as simple as that if it is if you're applying axial load so there is no size effect and we k we take it directly kb equal one so let's start with the example and see how does it go so we have a steel shaft loaded in a bending um, which is 32 millimeter in diameter abutting a fillet a filtered shoulder 38 millimeter so it's attached to it from one side so we have abrupt change in diameter so the 32 millimeter diameter shaft is abutting is attached to a 38 millimeter uh, so it has a fillet uh, diameter the shaft material has a mean ultimate tensile strength of 690 megapascal Estimate the marine size factor KB if the shaft is used in use is a rotating mode or non-rotating mode. So let's go back to the um, to the first slide. If it is a rotating mode, we come back straight to we we come here straight to this, and we're using a metric units, and D is equal to 32. So we we consider the weakest point. So we're gonna use this formula KB equal 1.24 D minus 0.107. So we put it here directly in the equation. KB equal. Sorry. Uh, actually, we need we need this one, which is D over 7.62, 1.24, or one here. So it's just the same. And D will be equal to 32. If it is a non-rotating mode, we come straight to here. And be, as it is a shaft, we have DE equal 0.37 times 32. Okay. So 11.84. We take this value back to the original equation which is the one here 11 point which is still within this range so we apply it in this equation but instead of putting d equal 32 we we do d equal to 11.84 which is equal 0 0.954 so this is a size uh, factor marine factor